Hey everyone, Austin here from Fritz AI. Today, I wanna to jump into one of the most exciting and powerful features included in SnapLens Studio's most recent update, version 3.4, multi-person 3D body tracking. This has been one of the most anticipated updates to Lens Studio and Creative AR more broadly, and for good reason. Without coding, building and rigging 3D models, or dealing with any 3D overhead, Lens creators of all skill levels can now create experiences that include more advanced motion and movement capture, more fine-grained information about the position and rotation of body parts, and even unlock the ability to control the movements of virtual 3D characters without separate animation rigging. This means that even a novice like myself, who's never set foot in Blender, Maya, or any other 3D software, can make this magic happen in Lens Studio. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this tutorial. Specifically, my goal is to start with a 3D body tracking template in Lens Studio, which you can see here, and replace the preloaded 3D avatar with one of my choosing. I'll then create a new lens that translates my body motion onto the 3D avatar, so it looks like we're dancing together. First, we'll need to start by finding a rigged 3D model, ideally in a T pose, so that we can easily track each joint position. We won't make one from scratch though. Instead, we'll find one from Adobe Mixamo. We should try to find a rigged model that has most of the following key points. Now bear with me as this is a long but important list. Hips, spine, spine one, spine two, neck, head, left shoulder, left arm, left forearm, left hand, right shoulder, right arm, right forearm, right hand, left upper leg, left leg, left foot, left toe base, right upper leg, right leg, right foot, and right toe base. That seems like a lot, but luckily if we use Mixamo to grab our pre-rigged 3D model, they usually come with most of these points already defined. Now for our demo, I'm gonna work with this mousy 3D model and download it as an FBX binary, which will be included in the overall zip file. I've included a link to this specific asset on Mixamo in the description below if you'd like to follow along with this specific asset, but you, you're welcome to find your own as well. Next, fire up Lens Studio and open up the 3D body template. Luckily, the Snap team has already provided four different use cases for us to work with within this template, which will simplify things and allow us to experiment with different ways of using the template. For more on each of these possibilities, check out the official documentation, which is also linked in the description below. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll use the default one selected when you open up the template, Dancing Mark. Let's first go ahead and replace the included 3D avatar with our own. To do that, we'll import the mousy.fbx binary file into the resources panel. You'll see an import dialog box here, uh, but for the purposes of this demo, go ahead and just click import. We'll make all the necessary adjustments shortly. Next, drag the object into the scene under Dancing Mark and the 3D body tracking object. Hide the skeleton Mark that's included in the template. At this point, you should only see the mouse show up in the preview like this. As you can see, the avatar is completely white here, and it's not matching any of the on-screen dance moves. This means that we have to set its texture and then wire up the animation. To do this, first, let's import the diffuse.png file included in the mousy folder you downloaded from Mixamo. Then go to the resources panel, select the mousy prefab resource, navigate to materials, then click body. Now in the inspector window, set the base texture of this body material to the diffuse PNG we just imported. If we check on our mouse dance partner now, we should see the same color and design we saw when we originally downloaded the asset from Mixamo. Finally, we need to attach each key point on the rigged avatar to track our body motion. To do this, first we'll have to disable the animation on the imported 3D asset if one exists. In the objects panel, click on mousey, and then in the inspector panel, remove the animation mixer, which is the default animation configuration provided via Mixamo. Next, click on 3D body tracking in the objects panel, and then in the inspector, under object tracking 3D, click on hips. We simply have to select the hips that belong to the mousy avatar rather than the one labeled mark. Repeat this for every key point. The specific key points should be labeled quite accurately, so matching them up shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm gonna speed things up here as this does take a bit of repetitive clicking.
Now, check out the preview screen, and you should see the mouse dancing alongside the humans in the camera view. You can also send this lens to your device to test, which can be actually especially fun since testing here involves you dancing. I have to say, I'm incredibly impressed with how well this works and how easy it was to set it up. There's no coding necessary and really no need to understand complicated AR concepts like 3D modeling or animation rigging. Understanding the basics of how to work with this template and set it up should allow you to experiment with your own rigged 3D assets, expand the basic template to include other immersive AR effects, and a whole lot more. We are really excited to see what you all come up with, both with this template and all the other new ones in Lens Studio 3.4. So tweet us your experiments at Fritz Labs and follow us on Snapchat. And as always, both of those are linked in the description below. That's it for this tutorial. Take care, everyone.